Alright guys, how's it going? So I was playing around with the Serpens add-on to do. Now if you've never seen this, it essentially lets you create your own add-ons using nodes. Link in the description down below. But I made a very simple add-on that essentially lets you quickly rename a surface or assign a surface. It's pretty cool to be honest. And the developer helped me out with it. And then I reminded myself, you've actually got material utilities inside of Blender already. And I thought, oh, what an idiot. Now in order to enable these, you need to go to Edit, Preferences, and it's already built in, just search for Material, and you'll find it here, Material Utilities, just enable it, and the shortcut for this is Shift and Q. And it's pretty cool to be honest, it's much more fully fledged than what I could ever make. So if I press Shift and Q, you can see here, I can assign a material, I can also search through the materials that I've already created. Now this is a blank scene so there's nothing there. I can select by the material, that's a great option as well. And I can do things like copy materials, replace materials and set user data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly add in a new material. You can see here, unnamed material, let's call it number one. And we have a few different options, assignment, override all assigned slots, we can assign material to the current selected slot, and I'm just going to hit OK. And you can see here in materials, we now have number one. And the great thing about this is, if you actually go into edit mode and let's select a polygon, like here for example, I can press Shift and Q, and I can assign a new material to this polygon, and we'll just call this front face. And you can see here, we now have a front face selected and we now have a new material. And we can do this for pretty much everything. Now the great thing about this is, when we go back into object mode, we press Shift and Q, you can see here I can actually search for different materials and it gives me a drop down list. And this is what one of the users was actually wanting. Highly recommend you install it, it should really be enabled by default and that's pretty much the material utilities for Blender. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me in gun mode, you know what to do. Take care.